This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is July 18th, 2014. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, he just cannot stop swinging that axe. There was an announcement earlier this week that the company will be letting go 18,000 employees. Well, Now he's turned his attention to Xbox Entertainment Studios, led by Nancy Tellum, and he has decided to close those studios. So big surprise there. Uh, The Nancy was hired in 2012, in the fall of 2012, and her mandate was to create a slate of original programming targeted for the Xbox platform. Now the news is that those projects that are in pre-production or production will be completed. So that includes Halo, uh, a live action Halo, and a prequel called Nightfall to be directed by Ridley Scott, as well as a couple of other projects, including potentially Signal to Noise, which is a project about the biggest game failure ever on the Atari platform. Uh, The word is that Miss Tellum will continue on with Microsoft to supervise these projects at least for now, but it's really hard to see that she will have a role when these projects are done. So uh, I suspect that we'll be seeing her leaving Microsoft uh, sooner after. Now, this feels like a strategic mistake for Microsoft. The company has been working very, very hard to reposition Xbox as the center of the entertainment universe for those customers that use the platform. And original content was a very logical extension of that. It would cement the consumer's relationship with the platform and give them plenty of reason to keep coming back to it. Um, Unfortunately, Mr. Nadella has decided to focus the team's attention back on the core gaming experience. Uh, But this, of course, is uh, something that PS3 and PS4, the team at Sony, is not doing. They're very much focused on the entertainment as well. So uh, this will not be without loss. I think it will certainly result in people using the platform less. And when they use the platform yes, less, they will buy less other content like movies and uh, TV shows and music. So there will probably be a loss in revenue as well uh, in this. So it uh, seems like a shame and seems like a retreat. So I think Xbox will become less important in the entertainment universe because of this decision. Aereo looks to be caught in legal limbo. The Supreme Court was pretty clear. It said if you look like a cable system and act like a cable system, you have to play by cable's rules. And part of those rules are uh, you would be eligible for a Section 111 license to uh, local content, local broadcast content. But the U.S. Copyright Office apparently doesn't see it that way. In a letter from Jacqueline Charlesworth, general counsel over at the Copyright Office to Aereo, she said uh, she did not see anything in the Supreme Court decision that would alter their conclusion that internet transmission of broadcast TV fall outside of section 111. Uh, So, I don't know, Miss Charles Charlesworth, you probably should reread what the uh, SCOTUS had to say about this, because I got a feeling they have the last word. Now, the funny thing is, even though they said that they thought that uh, Aereo fell outside of 111 requirements, uh, they took their money anyway, and they allowed them to file. Uh, But they did say they reserved the right to change that decision later. Um, Now, it's a funny legal limbo poor Aereo appears to be caught in. And DirecTV will let you now subscribe to Sunday Ticket over the internet without a satellite subscription. But hold your horses, all you cord cutters out there. There are some very specific requirements. First, if you are in a single family home and are capable of getting DirecTV satellite, you're probably not eligible. Uh, However, it seems to be targeted at people in apartment complexes. Uh, Those people that probably can't put up a direct TV antenna, they seem to want to be able to sell to those as well. Uh, So it is nice to know, however, that they have the right to sell direct over the internet if they want to. So maybe they can change their mind later and allow anyone 
to subscribe to Sunday Ticket over the internet without a satellite subscription. And if they change their mind and allow you to do that, you can bet you'll be first to hear it here on End Screen Noise. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.